Hi, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Late last night, there in Elgin, South Carolina, there was a magnitude 2.9 earthquake. 653 people so far have reportedly felt this earthquake and reported it to USGS. A lot of those living there are getting tired of these earthquakes, are getting quite worried about what's going on. There was several reports sent into EMSE. One here says it was scary. Please figure out why. Another one said it was loud, but not quite as bad as last night. In the last 24 hours, USGS has three earthquakes in this location. The most recent, a 2.9. There was a 2.1 and a 1.8. All of those earthquakes were very shallow. The 2.9 was only 3.5 miles in depth. The 2.1, 2.3 miles in depth. And the 1.8, 2.5 miles in depth. In the last week, there's been five earthquakes, the largest being a magnitude 3.3. Now, that 3.3 occurred at 1.30 a.m. local time. So that's probably the earthquake that he's talking about. Another report from Camden said yet another earthquake shook the house pretty good, but no damage. There in Hopkins, they said we heard a low rumbling and the walls popped a few times as it went by. Lexington says they heard slight vibration. EMSE also has where some of the felt reports came in from here posted. On USGS, it was felt as far as Myrtle Beach. And let's bring it in here a little bit. It was given an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many, while well, 653 people reported it to USGS. Outdoors by a few at night, many people would have been woken up. Well, they probably were. Dishes in the cupboards would have been rattling, windows shaking, doors shaking. Automobiles that were parked would have been rocking noticeably. This very well could be an indication that a larger earthquake is coming. You know, in 1886, uh, when they had that uh, 7.6 earthquake there in uh, Charleston, um, there was um, earthquakes prior to that which was in June, and then the earthquake in 1886, the big one, the 7.6, happened in August. So it could be a reminder to earthquake-proof your home, have a bug-out bag and other supplies, um, your documents, medical, water, canned food. Don't forget the can opener. Make sure everything is secured and you don't have things above your bed or or you may be sitting in the living room that might fall on you. You know, for a cheap, uh, oh, I want to say about $10, you can strap your big TV to the wall so it doesn't fall over. Put brackets uh, securing bookshelves and um, tall objects. I have all mine secured. But this swarm that's been going on, you guys that know this is not normal. So have you had damage and are you preparing for something that could come? that would be much larger. Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.